The world within us is complete in itself. The outside world is also complete. Subtracting complete from complete gives complete and even adding complete to a complete gives complete. My dear friends, today I am indeed very happy to present this video lecture on self-consistent field method for polyatomic molecules. Friends, this is one of the deepest subjects of science, quantum mechanics. You know, quantum mechanics is a philosophy and it has two aspects. One could be an ontological aspect and the other one is the epistemological aspect. In the ontology, we question our existence itself, whereas in epistemology, play at the intersection of two things, two sets. Set one is the belief and the set two is the truth. The intersection of these two sets is the knowledge. Friends, this lecture is an extension to the Huckel theory. In the previous lectures, we have applied Huckel treatment on different molecules which were containing double bond. The entire intention of employing Huckel type of methods is to use the equation given by Schrodinger H psi is equal to E psi and using the value of Hamiltonian the attempts are made to evaluate the energy P for different systems. Now while dealing with polyatomic molecules, we are also dealing with more number of electrons. So the simplicity of hydrogen atom like system will not exist in this type of case. While dealing with a single electron system, it is possible to have a one electron integral. Whereas, when we go to a polyatomic molecule, then as the atoms are more, the electrons are more, and the inter-electronic parameters have to be ideally measured using two electron or many electron integrals. But considering the mathematical difficulties, several approximations have been proposed. Huckel's method is one of them. So Huckel chose a set of homologous molecules and approximated the two electron integral as a single electron integral. To a large extent, Huckel was very successful. Most of the researchers in quantum mechanics during the beginning of or at the middle of the 20th century were trying to calculate the energy and other parameters of different polyatomic molecules using the Huckel approximation method. An interesting thing happened 
in the year 1919 friend is 1919 is 100 years before today a person named ruthan was born in holland when ruthan grew up he had to face the problems with the nazis and he was jailed but his interest in quantum mechanics and physics and chemistry at large made him study from the jail also mulikan very popular scientist was the guide of rothan in his work of thesis rothan calculated the energy and other parameters of several molecules which were substituted benzene and containing its analogy on one fine day rothan went to his guide mulikan with all these fine calculations done on substituted benzene related molecules but somehow he was not satisfied with his calculations even though this was considered to be one of the excellent works during that era he threw away all his pages outside the window and he decided to set up yet another approximation method so this is the small history behind the involvement of ruthan in performing calculations on polyatomic molecules friends you will be happy to know that ruthan is alive today and he is celebrating his 100th birth anniversary now coming back to the hackels method i would just like to recapture one of the very important approximation considered by hackel he thought that the hamiltonian h is the sum of effective one electron hamiltonian where the potential of each electron is determined by its own coordinates alone now since this kind of effective hamiltonian in a poly electron poly atomic system was not possible to define explicitly hackel tried that the matrix elements were related to the empirical quantities and this was one of the reason which ruthan basically did not like friends now let me take you formally to the self consistent field method as i mentioned ruthan didn't get attracted by the mathematical simplicity of the hackel method he was alarmed by the defects in fact and the defects as i said earlier were mainly because of the treating a two electron hamiltonian as a one electron hamiltonian for example an electron repulsion energy term like this one e square upon r i j basically depends on the coordinates of both the electrons and it cannot be really replaced by any one electron potential energy term this was the objection of ruthan and this was the limitation of the hackel's method so this failure to treat 
the two electron energy term has one electron term give poor results in certain cases while treating the molecules with equal method however as you know that during our study we have taken the molecules for treating the huckel method in such a way that they are all very closely related as far as the structures are concerned so that is why we observe that the results didn't show a large influence and they didn't really vary from the expected or the observed properties but however one can really state that continuing with the huckel's method does not lead to a situation which is encouraging the quantum mechanics so at this vantage point i suppose you have all understood the importance of many electron hamiltonian the one electron hamiltonian will never give us the results which match with the observed properties of different molecules and this part of the molecular orbital theory was basically developed by rutha and after rutha three very important scientists pariser par and popper they actually simplified the efforts made by rutha and they established a milestone in the calculations related to the polyatomic molecules friends i am happy to share with you that in my thesis work in the year 2000 under the guidance of professor ray i had an opportunity to perform pariser par popel calculations on a series of monomers which were part of a copolymer and eventually we could propose a theory for the electronic conduction in the polymers friends the polymers are believed to be insulators however we took a series of polymers which were having the monomers with some kind of conjugation the double bonds and therein we could find out the role of double bonds in providing some kind of electrical conductivity in the polymers i would further like to inform you that the first research paper that we signed to a very highly reputed chemistry journal synthetic metals we signed it in the year 2000 the chief editor professor alan j higer himself was the reviewer of this paper and in the year 2001 professor higer was awarded nobel prize continuing to the mainstream now let us try to understand the formulation of the rutham so now we begin with the basic expression of the hamiltonian operator for a pi electron system in our atomic unit this can easily be shown in two parts as you can see in this equation number 